You're someone who's been using Windows for many, many years, and you upgrade to Windows 11, and all of a sudden, that little Start button is no longer in the bottom left corner. It has shifted to the middle of the screen, and it's driving you nuts. If this is you, then you'll want to keep watching, because I'll show you how to move that Start button in Windows 11 and customize the taskbar today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to help you move that start button in Windows 11 back to the left hand side. For those of us who've been using Windows for most of our lives, it was very confusing when that start button moved in Windows 11. Some of you may have gotten used to it and you can leave it where it is, but others probably still keep going to the bottom left corner of your screen to get to that button. I promise you there is a way to change it. I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you some other customizations for your taskbar because that's where your start button lives is on your taskbar, that place where you can have a bunch of shortcuts for the different programs that you get into. And for those who aren't familiar with what I'm calling the start button, it is the Windows icon. It's been a circle in the past. Now it is a square. And in Windows 10 and previous, it resided in the bottom left corner. And in Windows 11, it's moved to the bottom center. Let's jump in and look at how you can make these changes. Here at the bottom is our taskbar. Now, if I move away from mine and it disappears, it's because I choose to auto hide my taskbar to give me more room on my screen. And I'll show you how you can do that too. But just know that this bar at the bottom, whether it's stationary or whether it disappears, is your taskbar. And you can have as many shortcuts as you want on here. But what we're first gonna talk about is this little start button right here. It used to be a circle in previous versions of Windows. And it used to be over here on the left-hand side in the bottom left corner. So how you can get that back is right click on the taskbar, click taskbar settings, and then I'm gonna move my pictures so that we can share the screen with our settings. And here we can see all of our different options. So right here, we can choose whether or not we want the little search box, that's this here. You can have a search box, the icon only, the icon and label, you can hide it. There's all different options here. Your task view is this guy right here, the two little squares. If I click that, I can see all the different windows that are open and change my task basically. And then I can hit escape to get out of this. Widgets, I currently have mine turned off. I'll turn it on. And then that pops up this little guy in the bottom left corner. And so you can see it may be a little confusing to put the start button down there if you choose to use widgets. And here you can see all the different widgets that are available. I'll turn that back off. The chat is tied to Microsoft Teams. And so that will give a little icon that looks just like that. And that is your chat. I won't go into this one because it will have me set up Teams and all of those good things. But if you're someone using Teams regularly, you might want to have this right here available to you for a quick chat in Teams. Have you been learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more? If so, you can click the subscribe button below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Down below are multiple other options for your system tray icons. Your system tray, if you go back to your taskbar, the bottom right area is your system tray. And that shows you all the things that are running and can give you notifications for those items. For instance, right here, I've got some kind of message from Windows Security. If I click here, I can see what other system tray icons are available. And you can see just about any program you have on your computer may show up here. And so you can turn on the ones that you want notifications from down in that system tray. And lastly, our taskbar behaviors. This is where the magical change the start button lives. 
Here we can make our taskbar alignment. It's currently centered. That is what it defaults to in Windows 11, but we can change that to left. And voila, it is finally in the bottom left corner again. Some of the other taskbar behaviors that we can change, the automatically hiding the taskbar. As I said, that's something that I like to have turned on. You could try that. And it gives you a little bit more space on the screen. That's why I like it. You can choose to show badges on taskbar apps. And so that means if you have a certain amount of messages for something like Discord, it would show that badge on there. And then there are several other options, including what to do with your taskbar in multiple displays. As you can see, there are multiple ways to customize that taskbar in Windows 11. Have fun playing around and see what might work well for you. And I hope you enjoy having your start button back in the bottom left corner. If you're still feeling confused by this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the icon above me that has the heart in the monitor, or you can go to gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button to schedule a time. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.